How's it going guys? Mertz here bringing you another Watcher of Realms video and today we will be doing stage 19 of Gear Raid 3. So let's go. So this is my team. Lunaria and Isolde for the Lord buffs. We have Nyx, Idril Arrogance, Dolores Moll, Midan, Vortex, and Setra. So let's go. So I had several runs here. This is the first one. So the only problem on my runs is always the right side because I don't have any invisible heroes. That's why I'm using Mol to deal with the right side. But when I finished it, I was using Theowin instead of Mol. So I had a lot of tweaking. I think the problem on this first one will be... Yeah, it's the right side. We cannot kill it in time. Okay. On to the next run. So I'm still using Maul here. I'm being stubborn. But yeah. It won't be three stars if you can kill them all. Okay. A Tewin run. The first run on Tewin was still a fail. Because I was still trying to figure out how I can use him. But the second run was a success. As Rendon said, unlimited success. <laughs> so this is the right placements. Setram, and then Idril, then I'm waiting for Dolores to be damaged by the boss. And that's the time I will place, uh, no, I just place Vortex. So Vortex and then Nyx and, and then Tewin to slow the right side. Then Midan to heal Nyx. So this one is a fail because the monster on the right got through and then on my next trans I was switching Idril and Dolores' position but it's still not working <laughs> so I I even put Tewin on the right side <laughs> but we all know that won't work that's just stupid is this the successful run yeah this is the successful run so let's see here so it's just the same beginning. Setram, Idril, and then Dolores. Setram ult. And then place Vortex. And then Idril ult. To deal with the monster on the right. So that's the right timing because Tewin needs to hit the monster on the right. So he can gain... The three stacks, as you can see, he has three stacks here, so he can slow the three monsters that will be spawning on the top right. So if you don't have the power of dominance yet, <laughs> you need to time everything very precisely. So in here, I'm just waiting for Midan, the cost for Midan, that plays her. Because Nyx will die if I don't place Midan because she is being targeted by the boss. Because the boss will target the last hero placed. And now, as you can see here, the monster on the right is being slowed. Right there. And Idril is targeting the monster on the right and he will die. And we need to deal with the boss. We need to kill him. So I placed... Arrogance on the middle and then I will time Dolores' ult with Arrogance ult here and I'm spamming Tewin's ult so we can slow the three monsters on the right and I will barely kill them 
Yes, I will barely kill them. <laughs> that shit's so close, man. After we kill the boss, there won't be too much of a, of a problem because Idril can kill the remaining monsters on the right. What the fuck am I doing here, bro? Okay, okay. I guess I I went somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what what I fixed, but I'm all tabbing. So we will kill again the monster on the right with Idril's ult. So you have to time that again also. And Nyx will just solo the left side. Wait, how did we kill the boss? Oh, the boss. We killed the boss just in time. It was really close. As you can see, I used Dolores ult here and then we killed the boss with arrogance. Damn! This run was so close. But hey, a 3 star run is a 3 star run, right? All you need is one run to finish it. So I'm spamming T wins ult again. Hoping to kill the two monsters remaining on the right. And I and we will kill it just in the nick of time. Damn. And that's how I cleared stage 19 of gear raid 3. And of course we got trash. So for the gear. Lunaria doesn't really matter. I didn't place her. She's just there for the Lord skill. Nyx. She has... 12,000 attack, 153 attack speed, 104 crit rate, and 207 crit damage. These are her gear, crit rate, attack bonus, attack bonus. Artifact is Stunting Gaze level 12. Idril. She has 11k attack, 266 attack speed, 99% crit rate, and 193 crit damage. Her gear crit rate, attack bonus, attack bonus. And her artifact is Idril's Gaze, level 13. So Theowin, he has 10k attack, 473 attack speed, 104 crit rate, and 290 crit damage. So this is just Arrogance's real gear. I just put it on him. And put Zilitus gear on Arrogance. <laughs> so I switch things around when I try to finish gear raids that are hard. So I can get the best results. And as you saw, I just finished it. His artifact is Blood Bond Signet level 8. My Setram has 15k attack. 205 attack speed, 105 crit rate, 237 crit damage, crit rate, attack bonus, attack bonus. His artifact is Nether Messenger, level 10. Isolde, also just there for the leader skill. So Medan, 31k HP, 166 attack speed, and 115 healing effect. Healing effect. HP bonus, HP bonus. Artifact, Jungle Relic, level 1. Vortex, 30k HP, 224 attack speed, and 136 healing effect. HP bonus, healing effect, HP bonus. Artifact is Elysian Folios, level 1. Arrogance, this is Zilitus items. So 15.5k attack, 451 attack speed. 102 crit rate and 204 crit damage. Crit rate, attack speed, attack bonus. Artifact is Crystal of Vileness. So I should have put Flawless or Ragnarok on him because this is not very useful on Gear Raid 3. Because the Shadow Guard that is summoned by Crystal of Vileness is melee. So it cannot reach the boss. Lastly, Dolores. 8.7k attack. So attack bonus. Triple attack bonus. Her artifact is Spirit Horn level 11. And that's it guys. That's my Gear Raid 3 team. If you have any suggestions or if you learned something, leave it in the comments below. As always, good luck on your summons. Thank you all for watching. 
I'll see you on the next one. Peace.